Hi, I'm Steve Carell. Steve! Hammy, not now. I'm about to tell the people about our new movie. One head, one little nut. I'll be your best friend, please. Okay, here we go. Go! Yeah. Take it. I'm here to talk about DreamWorks Animation's new movie called Over the Hedge. We have scenes to share with you in various stages of animation. Over the Hedge, it's about a bunch of woodland creatures who wake up from five months of winter hibernation to discover a giant hedge running right through the middle of their forest. No! And on the other side of it, a hundred brand new homes. Now, they totally freak out, worrying about how they'll survive when along comes RJ. Now, RJ is this super cool raccoon, and he is played by none other than the big action star Bruce Willis. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know. Bruce has been in the studio all week recording some very funny lines that, uh, well, why don't I let him explain? Bruce, bet you're really excited. Hey, I'm excited, I'm very excited. Okay? My voice is coming out of a furry, computer-generated raccoon. You, my friend, are a natural. So here's how this whole thing works. I say a funny line in here, like this. Now listen, champ. What we're going for here is a vicious, man-eating, rabid squirrel. And the directors take it over to the sketch artists, and then they take it to the animation wizards, and it comes out just like this. What we're going for here is a vicious, man-eating, rabid squirrel. Can you handle that? It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> That's Bruce Willis. <laughs> I was talking to Bruce Willis. Wow. Okay, then there's Vern. We want nothing to do with anything that's over that hedge. Voiced by Gary Shandling, Vern's the leader of all the animals in the forest. Now, everyone likes Vern, but he's a little cautious, a little slow. Ah! So everyone's just starting to adjust to life in the suburbs when suddenly RJ gets his big idea. RJ sees a treasure of goodies to be had from his unsuspecting new neighbors and convinces his reluctant pals to join him on his mission. Clearly, the guy has seen too many spy movies. Lucky for him, he's got a lot of animal friends in this movie, like Stella the Skunk, played by the always funny Wanda Sykes. Why'd you let him sneak up on me like that, Vern? I was this close. And Ozzy the Opossum, played by William Shatner. I play an opossum. <laughs> Must move toward the light. And there's Ozzy's teenage daughter, played by Avril Lavigne. Penny and Lou are played by the wonderfully funny Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara. They have their hands full with porcupine triplets. Shape up there. <laughs> and the irrepressible squirrel, Hammy, is played by none other than me. Dig a hole, bury it, take it out, bury it somewhere else, forget where it is! I am adorable. Well, that's all we're gonna tell you right now because we're saving up a whole bunch of surprises. Oh, oh, oh. So, from the whole gang. Excuse me. And Hammy, we'll see you over, over the, the hedge. hedge. Right? Anything else from you, Hammy? Oh, I can burp my ABCs. A, B, Z. Well, like I was saying, from me and Hammy and all the other guys, we'll see you over the hedge. Over the hedge. It may be your backyard, but it's their world. Wow. In 2000, they answered the question, what do chickens do when no one is watching? Now, the creators of Chicken Run are back with the pair that started it all, Wallace and Gromit. Gromit, old pal, I'll need assistance. <laughs> One's an inventor. Just a bit of harmless brain alteration, that's all. Who never says die. Full suction. Ah! The other is his dog, who never says anything. They've made gadgets. They've made contraptions. And they've made a movie. From DreamWorks and Ardman Studios, get ready for action. Suspense. Mystery. And vegetables. I have the most terrible rabbit problem. How on earth would they ever catch such a big rabbit? Oh, come on, Grummy. A bit more alluring.
Time Magazine raves it's the flat out funniest movie in dog years. Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit.